So I've brought the uh, device outside and hooked it up to this uh, 20 watt solar panel. Now you can't see the display very well out here so I'm going to have to try working on that a little bit. And uh, the weather's not too bad, we've got some uh, cloud up there so the sun's going to be going in and out. Now I've brought my tripod out here with phone holder but I can't really get a very good image of the display on the controller unless I get up very close to it so I might have to do this a little bit uh, freehand without the tripod I think. Uh, the display on the controller is not very easy to film you can either have in focus and uh, strobing or you can have out of focus but not strobing. Oh wait a minute oh that's near perfect I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold the camera in that position though so this is what's on the display uh, with the solar panel connected. Now I was having trouble saving the data sets, but I think I've worked out how to do it. You press set, uh, I'm using data set zero. So let's press set again. This is the solar panel. Well, I assume it's the maximum power voltage, which on this panel is 17.2. So that's what I've set it to. I've set the battery voltage uh, that I want the boost converter to not go above to 40 volts, that's going to be for my two NICAD power tool batteries in series. I've set the current to 2 amps, and then when you press it again you get this arrow pointing to a floppy disk thing. Really do like using the use of a floppy disk as a save icon, I think that's rather good. At this point you don't press set, you press OK, and the number there briefly changes to two dots and that means it's saved. So now I've got 40 volts for battery, I'm going to tip the solar panel over to take power off the unit, tip the solar panel back over and it has remembered the 40 volts setting that I put in. Uh, current solar panel voltage is 17.6 that's because there isn't a lot of sun. If I tip that panel up you can see that that drops. Let's just see where the unit actually completely dies. The panel is tipping over more and more and more down to about 8 volts, 8.4 and there it is. It's conked out at that voltage. Let's bring the panel back. It's still rebooting. And it briefly says 8 volts and then it says 15, so I'm not quite sure what that's doing. But anyway, with the panel facing back at the sky, we're back into a situation where we've got proper 17 and 3 quarter volts coming from the panel. Okay, so that's set up. So now I suppose what I want to do is uh, connect a battery. Actually, before I, want to do, uh, before I do that, I want to show what happens when I just press OK because what happens is it turns on. Now, it says it's in constant current. The voltage ramps up. You can see the battery voltage there rising up to my preset limit of 40 volts. It hits 40 volts, 39.9, and then this icon says OK. Now, what that means is that the battery is fully charged because it's reached the voltage beyond which I don't want this thing to go. Of course there's no battery on there so it uh, it hits that. Problem here is with the unit output on, you can see the on icon there, if I tip the solar panel over so that the unit reboots, the fan briefly runs up and then stops but the unit is now off. So if the sun goes down at night and then the sun rises up the next day this thing doesn't start charging the battery because the output is off and you have to press OK to switch the output back on so I haven't found yet a way of getting this unit to automatically turn the boost converter on so that it can start charging the battery the battery of course having a higher voltage than the solar panel if we have another night and day, I've turned the panel over again, cycle, the unit defaults to off, not on, and I haven't found a way of saving the on state uh, as, a, as a parameter to get it to turn on every morning. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. So I've now set up this system with my 20 watt solar panel. The controller, which I'm beginning to think is more of a MPPT battery charger, but I'll come to that in a minute, and a couple of uh, nickel cadmium power tool batteries in series so that gives a nominal voltage of 36 volts 
and uh, I've been playing with this for a little while and charging it but unfortunately the weather's taken a bit of a turn and uh, it's gone all cloudy now there is a little bit of hope on the horizon uh, over there I can just about see some blue so that should be coming here shortly and now I've set the uh, battery voltage to 36 volts um, that's the nominal voltage of the battery but actually I need to set that to the maximum voltage of the battery so let's go set that's that's group zero data set zero that's the maximum power of the solar panel maximum power voltage there's 36 volts sorry about the strobing so let's take that and I'm going to take it up to 45 volts because I figure that um, very interesting rapid uh, move facility on here let's just do this set current two amps arrow pointing to floppy disk press ok double dot that means it's saved yeah I figured that these two nickel cadmium power tool batteries um, which each have 15 nickel cadmium cells so that's 30 cells probably could push them to about 1.5 volts each so that's 45 volts for the 30 cells okay let's try that now there's no actual Sun on the panel just at the moment but let's uh, look at the display on here and now I press OK to turn the output on so I can get this thing to stop strobing yeah there we are right. now it turns on the fan starts spinning up you might be able to hear that and now you can just hear a little dip in the fan noise which is where this unit tries to run the boost converter up and you briefly see a little bit of current there's none at the moment and then no watts and then it just briefly bursts the boost converter but then backs off again because I think it, when it does it it sees that the solar panel voltage drops sufficiently that it's not really going to charge the battery so in a, actually at the moment it's not really doing anything so I'm now gonna have to wait until the uh, Sun comes back from behind the clouds before I think this is actually gonna charge at all now I'm just gonna turn the solar panel on its face which shuts the unit off and then back again which powers the unit up but notice down here it says off and that means that when the Sun goes in and then comes up the next morning this thing is not in battery charge mode it's actually in off mode and you have to manually switch to on to get it to charge the batteries and that means that it's not going to automatically charge the batteries every day when the Sun comes up and that strikes me as less of a solar charge controller where it sort of has automatic battery charging functionality and more of a sort of standalone battery charger which you have to manually switch on when you want to charge the batteries it's not going to do it um, every time the Sun comes up and I can't see a way of setting this on into the parameter set because when you're off you can adjust the parameter set when you're on you can't so it's a peculiar MPPT solar charge controller now just looking at this display again you can see that it's currently uh, saying CC and showing one segment of this charge bar here so that's the constant current phase then when the battery voltage reaches your set maximum which is 45 in my case no, it's not anywhere near that it's 35 at the moment this shows CV it goes into the constant voltage phase and that means and and is regulating uh, current at the uh, no, regulating voltage and the current will start to fall but that means that with a CC and a CV phase this thing could charge uh, lithium battery packs as long as the battery pack has internal cell protection and then it will go to the full the symbol will have all three segments lit up this says OK and that effectively means that the battery is fully charged so this indicator on the top right goes up in three stages I can't um, video that with the camera this far back because you can't see anything. So just waiting now for the cloud to blow over and this little 
sliver of blue sky to hit the solar panel and then uh, we can see if it's going to charge. So still while I'm waiting for the clouds to clear, you can see what it's doing uh, while there's very little sun on the panel. Periodically it turns on the boost converter. You'll see a brief burst of activity on the amps and watts scale. And then it just backs off for several seconds. So it's not actually doing anything when there's so little sun on the panel that the panel can't sustain a current. It's not actually charging. Right, the sun is almost out. Not quite yet. You can see now that the bursts of activity of the boost converter are a bit longer. It's holding some amps and some watts just a little bit longer, but still backing off and switching off completely. With no current, no amps, no watts. But I'm hoping that when the sun is fully out, it will sit there and uh, hold a constant current into the batteries. Right, we've got some hazy sun on the panel and this unit does sound like it's sustaining a current. Yes it is. Oh no, it's popped out again. Yep, it's holding about 200 milliamps of current. Let's see if I can get the strobe ring to stop. About a quarter of an amp of current, now 10 watts and the battery voltage is being pushed up, that's at 41 volts. Now look at the solar panel voltage, 13, 14 watts now, but the sun's getting stronger. 15 volts is that? 16 maybe, I can't see it very well. But yes, this is now holding, ah there we are, I got rid of the strobing. So the solar panel voltage is bobbing around and it does look like it's doing maximum power point tracking to hold that 14.8 watts as high as it can, bringing the solar panel voltage down. It's quite hot now, so the voltage won't be that high. It probably won't be the 17.2 volts as indicated on the rear of the panel. So it seems to be maxing out at about 15.5 volts solar panel voltage. Now I've got 42.6 watts on the batteries, 14 watts, 13, 12, I think the sun's gone behind a cloud. And it's in constant current mode and it's clocking up some watt hours. So it certainly seems to be working, it seems to do maximum power point tracking, but is it a solar charge controller or is it just a battery charger because, take my hand away, if I tip the panel over, so that's night time, bring the panel back over again, so that's daytime, it doesn't go into charge mode. It sits there in off mode and I have to press, where's the button, I have to press OK to switch it on. So I think it's more of a battery charger than a solar charge controller which you can just leave unattended for days on end. But this is working, 20 watt solar panel into this little uh, charge controller or battery charger as I'm calling it and into a battery of sufficient voltage because this unit won't really work with batteries uh, below 24 volts or will it? I mean could it possibly work on a 12 volt battery if the solar panel voltage was sufficiently low? That's something I think would be interesting to test. Uh, I'd have to find a solar panel. I think all my solar panels. I really can't get this camera to focus, stay focused, not to strobe and get the exposure right. Yeah, there we are, that's working well. But yeah, if I could get a solar panel of say nominally 6 volts, maybe 18 cells, something like that, that's nominally 9 volts, isn't it? Then maybe you could use it to charge with the boost converter circuitry inside this unit, use it to charge a 12 volt battery. 
Now you can see here the battery symbol on the left uh, starts to step up and I think that's because you can set the total number of watt hours or amp hours of the battery and then this gives you a sort of uh, prediction of how fully charged it is. And of course that assumes you're starting at zero and assumes you're going up to this value that you set. I haven't worked out how to set that value yet. I also don't know whether it's a limit. In other words, if you set that to say, I don't know, 20 watt hours or something, would this unit stop when it hits that? These are more things I've got to test. I'm only getting nine watts out of my 20 watt solar panel, but then that's probably because the sun is a bit hazy at the moment. But it does look like there's going to be just a smidgen of blue for the sun to come out fully in a moment or two. I'll see if I can capture that on the camera. So now I've angled the panel a little bit so that it's pointing more towards the sun. And I'm getting a fairly sustained 14 watts out of that 20 watt panel. Notice the panel voltage is quite low. I think that's because it's hot. Uh, solar panels have a higher voltage when they're cold. But yeah, 15 watts out of that solar panel. And my battery voltage is currently 43 volts. So that won't go into constant voltage until that hits 45. It may not even do that. I'm not sure whether these NICADs will go up to 45 volts. 30 NICADs in series. Third of an amp. Interesting. So it's been fun playing with this little uh, solar charge controller. A couple of uh, NICAD power tool batteries and a 20 watt solar panel. Frustrating again, of course, that the weather is just letting me down. Not giving me that sort of prolonged sunshine which I need to do proper testing. But that's how it is in the UK. So that's it, I'm afraid, folks. A huge grey cloud has rolled in and totally pooped the party. So uh, I'm going to pack up now and take the unit back indoors, pack all this stuff away. After all, this is, uh, this is England, not the Algarve in southern Portugal.